yeah, hi everybody, it's DC here. It's the 5th of March, 22. Um, don't usually show my face, but here I am. Um, I'm sort of 75, 74 now, and um, you know, feeling my age a little bit. I've had COVID and it's really knocked me back. It stopped my thought processes, so I'm, uh, I'm a bit slow and mixed up here and I can't get my head together to make these videos properly. Um, so as soon as I commit to getting prop better properly, I'll try and make some more videos. However, with um, the war in, you know, uh, I say Ukraine, which you all know about, um, I'm, I'm changing my MO a little bit. So that's all I can say for now. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just going to show you a breakdown of um, what the components that I've used in my last video. So that's like uh, from um, the power supply uh, to a modulator, a coil, the magnet and the magnet setup and what I've been doing. Okay, um, I hope you like this video. I'm all over the place up here. Um, it's, I'm finding it a long, hard road back to being productive. Um, Perhaps you can tell I'm not my usual self. Okay, folks, um, I'll have to make another video and then connect the two videos, so I'm all over the place. So, cheers for now. I will be doing more videos, but I don't know when, to be honest. Okay, um, so uh, DC on this video signing off, but I'll then show you the components from the last video that I posted online. <laughs> Bye for now. Hi everybody again, back. Um, right, the components. We've got a power supply, a modulator here, car coil, 1224 volts, and the uh, item in question, which is a neodymium magnet here, and just some nails grouped together with a coil around the nails. So that's, it's so simple, it's unbelievable. So I'll go through the uh, components so you can clear, see, clearly see them. I'm sorry, I'm a bit disjointed. I am literally all over the place. So there's your power pack, your power supply. Very good power supply, I can re recommend it to anybody. It's very, very robust. And uh, this is the component which was from China. Yep. The car coil, 12 volt car coil in its glory and the, um, the heart of the matter, which is the magnet, the near, near, near magnet, and I better not get this phone too close to it. So what we've got sitting on the magnet here, if I can separate it off, mm -mm. maybe not. Oh. Bear with, bear with. <laughs> Come off. Come off, it's a strong magnet. <laughs> Whew, got it. <laughs> so that, the component here is it's just a coil. It's uh, insulated here with black tape, and then it's got some um, it's got some blue wire on it, which is wrapped around a steel coil of just four-inch nails. That's all that is, and then that just sticks onto the magnet. Now then, this is the interesting bit for me. We've got a, a magnet here, and I mean, maybe just see that that's the north face here. Doesn't matter which, but and then so. That's the south face. So I take this wire off here, and that wire off there, which is, sticks to the magnet straight away. Maybe we we'll just pull this out. Show you. Oh, come on. Why the to fix? Don't want to work. Go out. Go out wherever you are. Uh -uh. Gonna have to put this phone down, I think. But I'll try. <clears throat> I'll try, try to get it down for you. Set the phone up so you can see what's going on. Maybe, maybe, baby. You no, know, it's just not allowing me to do that. I'll put it there, maybe. As you can see, it's totally unrehearsed. All this. Can you see the magnet? Yeah, there we, there's the magnet. So what we've got here with the magnet. Oh. 
Right, now this, this is just a piece of ordinary copper wire, 1.5 millimetres, and it's actually broken in the middle. But I've kept, I've kept the plastic sleeve on. So it's, if I pull this here now, maybe, do you know what, it never works when you want it to work in front of the camera. So this here, there you go. So that's the, the, the copper wire, yeah, which goes to that point there if you can see it, hopefully you can, all right. And there's a gap, so the gap is between the other copper wire, which I'll pull out for you now, hopefully. There you go. So it's just a piece of plastic now, isn't it? Plastic tubing. And one wire, two wires, and they just virtually space out like that, and the spark jumps in between, but it's covered with this plastic sheathing. Okay. And the magnet itself is just an ordinary neodymium magnet, which will, of course, have a centre point, which you can see. There's a hole drilled through it there. I wonder if you can see through it. Maybe you can. You should be able to see through it. Yeah, there you go. So there's a hole right through, right through a neodymium magnet, right in the heart of the magnet. So it's uh, right through the block, blotch wall. And that's where I put the spark at different frequencies. So, um, you know, that's my efforts. And that's where I'm ge generating the voltage from by vibrating only the blotch wall, the heart of the magnet. So that's it. So as you can see, very simple setup, modulator, power, supp power supply modulator, car coil, neodymium magnet, and some little bits of copper wire which go into the magnet, go into the magnet there, and form a spark gap, an insulated spark gap in the middle of the magnet. And that's it, it's very very simple folks for you to repeat, uh, to reproduce. And of course the the coil here, which is just nails wrapped, wrapped, wrapped around with a little bit of insulation tape and then um, there's a white masking tape around it to hold it together and this um, again 1.5 solid copper wire. That's it. Um, so uh, that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm finding it very difficult to do stuff. I can't concentrate. Um, but it's all about vibrating the blotch, blotch wall and just as a matter of notes if you can imagine this coil this coil here on say shall we say the north face of the magnet and this coil another one on the south face of the magnet all right um, and once you vibrate it you, you you, you, you're going to get like a, a vibration at whatever frequencies you determine and really speaking you should be able to pull as much power off that as you want because you're emulating a power supply that's in the mains electric 240 volts AC I, I will mention one thing that when the when the pulses go out they are um, the frequencies and the pulse shapes uh, I've still got to experiment with so at the, at the moment I've just I've not been doing sine wave I've just been doing pu pulses so you've I've been doing pulses and um, so I've got a long way to go with this but I can't put it down and as soon as I get better I want to do more and more so um, Anybody that likes my channel, you're welcome to ask questions. You're, you're welcome to replicate it. it. It really is very, very simple. The hardest thing that I found to do was to drill through this neodymium magnet. I think I burnt out about three, four drills. 
<laughs> and they were really hard drills. I didn't have diamond because I couldn't afford the diamond, but I managed to do it in the end. All right, that's uh, DC signing out for now. Um, maybe, just maybe, I can go to the whiteboard for a minute. This is totally unrehearsed. <laughs> so, bear with, bear with. So, it's the 5th of the 3rd, 22. Uh, 22. Um, so I'm showing you the magnet. So this represents the block magnet and there's the hole in the middle and then what we've got on on each side of the, well that's what I want to develop each side of the magnet is that coil that little coil showed you. So chum 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 and the wire coming out and chum 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 and a, and a wire coming out there somewhere boom right <clears throat> so we've got the blotch wall in the middle blotch wall in the middle which we vibrate um, you've got the steel nails running through here in the center, the group of them, the steel nails here, in the in the center. And what I have done is I have insulated this here. Whether it wants an insulation or not, there's a insulation pad at that point and an insulation pad at that point. So the idea is that we we vibrate or pump energy like this, through the vibration of the blotch wall. And then we get outputs here and here. Now that's where I'm measuring. Um, it's anything from, to be honest, from 100 volts to 550 volts at each point. And that's, that's measured to um, a common ground. So we've got a a common ground there and that's the, the potentials made from ground the measurements made from ground to there um, I also want to measure from this point here and that point there I've not measured that yet for potential there to there to see if I've got any potential there which I think there could possibly be. We'll call that X <laughs> for now. And this is where I'm at at the moment. I don't know, to be honest, I don't know when I'm going to do my next video. Um, I hope this helps, helps you somewhat in where I'm trying to go with this. But I believe the heart of the matter is actually vibrating the null point in the ether there with a spark, which Tesla said, was an event in the ether and I believe that to be correct. So if we vibrate the ether, <laughs> we vibrate the magnetic so that it's we vibrate the dielectric to vibrate the magnetic. There you go, that's it. DC signing out. Don't know when I'll be back. <sighs> um, just I've enjoyed every minute of doing these videos and I want to do more. But I'm in, I'm in no fit state to do more. So there you go, folks. DC signing out. Enjoy. <laughs> I mean, if you want, replicate it and uh, see what you get. Um, am I on the right wavelength? I believe so. It's all about experimenting, folks, and doing your best. And that's it. Keep it simple. DC signing out.